Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all have had a wonderful week and a fabulous weekend. Today's video is going to be the Noble Collection and then I have kind of a few items from the Noble, Noble, <laughs> the Noble Collection. So I have broke this up into categories. So there will be probably four parts to the Noble Collection. Today is going to be all about all of the Horcruxes in Harry Potter. Okay, so item number one is going to be Tom Marvolo Riddle's Diary. All of these items, by the way, are listed as not toys, guys. Oh, oh, oh. hold on. Houston, we have a... <laughs> oh, my word. We've almost lost the diary. Okay, here is item number one. Tom Marvolo Riddle's Diary. And then we have the Basilisk Fang, which did destroy... The Diary and the Hullcrux in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. <gasps> Jesus! <sighs> Guys, these are not toys, and you probably really shouldn't lift them like that, okay? <laughs> Just a side note. I will list the link to the Noble Collection down below, as well as pricing and all of that good stuff. <sighs> Also, a quick side note, because I didn't get to mention, the weight to this is very heavy. It is a very great quality and heavy item. The corners here are kind of like that metal material, and I really like the base as well, how it has the shiny plaque, and it says Tom Marvolo Riddle's name on it. Horcrux number two is Marvolo Gaunt's ring, which was destroyed by Albus Dumbledore in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It does come in a very pretty wooden box, which does have the Deathly Hallows symbols on either side. And then this comes off and you have your ring, which holds the resurrection stone. And I'll take it out for you guys. Ugh. So this is what it looks like. Horcrux number three is Salazar Slytherin's locket, which was destroyed by Ronald Weasley in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part One with the Sword of Gryffindor. Again, it's in a very pretty box. It says Harry Potter on the glass in the background. And here is what the locket looks like. Very pretty. It has the emerald green S stones inside. The fourth Horcrux is Helga Hufflepuff's cup which was destroyed by Hermione Granger in The Deathly Hallows Part Two. It's a very beautiful gold cup. It has the badger on the cup on the outside, if you guys can see that, which is so cute. The cup is very beautiful. It's kind of tiny, but cute small, like perfect to set on a fireplace. Also a little side note, again, these are not toys, so they do drill a tiny little hole at the bottom so you cannot drink out of these cups, which I found was interesting. <laughs> The fifth Horcrux is Rowena Ravenclaw's Ditem, which was destroyed by Harry Potter in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. It comes in a very beautiful box, which does have the eagle in a metallic silver on the front. And that silver metallic goes all the way throughout the box on the outside edges. Inside the box is the beautiful Ditem. I'll take it out and show you guys. Okay, so here is the lost item. It is so beautiful. It has tiny little gems throughout and then that very pretty blue colored gem in the center and then the two little pieces that hang down here. This is probably one of the most beautiful Horcruxes that there is. The sixth Horcrux is Nagini and this is the Magical Creatures collection. They do have several of these Magical Creature items which I will show you some of the other ones that I have in a future video. This is Nagini, which was destroyed by Neville Longbottom and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. And then the seventh and final Horcrux was Harry Potter, which I do not have a Harry Potter from the Noble Collection. I'm not sure if they do have one, but he is the seventh Horcrux. And then I also wanted to show you guys another very large piece that I have. It is an item that was used to destroy the Horcruxes in the books and the movies. Let me show you guys. Okay, so it's going to be somewhat difficult for me to show you guys, but this is the Sword of Godric Gryffindor, which was used to destroy many of the Horcruxes. 
Okay, so here is the handle for the sword, which you can see the very pretty red gem. And then I'm just gonna kind of angle it up and show you guys the detail of the sword. And it does say Godric Gryffindor down the center of the sword. This is what it kind of looks like from afar. This would be a great piece to hang up on a wall and display. And then they also have this little chain that has a medallion on it. And it is the Gryffindor Lion medallion, which I thought was a really pretty touch. Okay guys, so that is a wrap on my Horcrux items from the Noble Collection. If you guys would like to, definitely go check out the Noble Collection. They have a lot of amazing items that are beautiful and well made and great quality. Also, let me know in the comments below which was your favorite item and also future videos that you guys want to see. I would love to see recommendations so that I can film those videos for you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye! Item number two is Marvolo. Marvolo. That's so hard to say. Item number two is Marvolo Gaunt's ring, which does. <laughs> Marvolo. Mar that is so hard for me to say. Marvolo. 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 The fourth Huffle. Huffle Fruff. <laughs> Huffle Fruff. The fourth Horcrux is Helga Hufflepuff's cup, which was destroyed by Hormione. Hormione. <laughs> what are you calling me? <laughs> Didum, which was destroyed by Harry Potter in a deathly in 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 beautiful jewel. Wow. Not a toy. Ow. Oh, not a toy. Not a toy.